is the time, man. Um, um, present time. They are arguably those popular high-end watches in the world. And maybe that's one reason why New York cops are tonight looking at at least two robberies this week where thieves have stolen Rolex watches. And they're doing it in the West Village. Now, if you're wearing one, a word to the wise. Here's Iowa News reporter Sonia Rincon. <laughs> Surveillance video shows four friends walking on 6th Avenue at around 9.30 Wednesday night, followed by a moped with two men on it going the wrong way. The robbery takes place just out of frame. I saw the gun in his hand, this silver little gun. And, um, <laughs> my God, <laughs> he, had a, he had a gun. Somebody in the left a comment today said gliders are like Babes in the wilderness. The babes in the like, wood, yeah. Yeah, woods. Yeah, you saw that comment? No, but yeah. I that yeah. It's, it's apt. Like, I'm afraid. This guy's totally unprepared to be living in the place where he's living. And and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that like anything's wrong with it. he's gay or anything. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying, like, there's no steely. You gotta have kind of like a steely exterior. Uh, what happened to the '80s Great. white guy with the, you know, yeah, some Great. kind of, yeah. Th th even if you aren't, don't have that personality wise, you have to kind of have it. He, they don't have any of it. They don't have like a steely exterior, and they're really a pussy. Like they don't. They just have. Like it's just like literally like those things you blow. You know those things you wish and you blow the little. It's, they're white. They Danny have the lines. little things. Danny line, and you blow. They're like dandelions in the God midst of like a rainforest and shit. How white men are like dandelions. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Like literally, I mean, man. These urban ones are at least. Yeah. No. I mean, it's not. Not incorrect hand this silver little gun and um he pulled it out and he just said rolex 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 give me your rolex, oh these are my these, Eric are, Goldie says these aren't he... brothers these ain't brothers bro like give me your shit yeah these, run your these, shit. Are, these are those mm -hmm. these are these migrants because they remember they're doing they're, they're the ones doing the um they get this from their home countries with the bikes and shit, the mopeds. Handed it over. What am I going to do, argue with the guy holding a gun up to my side? The gunman got back on the moped. It can be seen doubling back seconds later, this time the right way. The brazen mugging actually happened right in front of this FDNY station near East Houston Street, which has plenty of lighting and foot traffic in the evening. Goldie says he and his friends had just had dinner and were seated by a window. In fact, a server warned them not to leave their phones on the table because they'd be easy for someone to walk in and grab. That's when he says he pulled his sleeve down and left his watch covered up until the moment the robber demanded it. He knew what kind of watch I was wearing. Um, and for me, this is the first time I saw the guy. So in my head, I'm thinking now, Someone must have tipped him off. It wasn't the only Rolex reported stolen in the West Village on Wednesday. Another man told the police he was waiting for an Uber here on West 11th Street and 6th Avenue when he was invited into a yellow Lamborghini with two women he'd never met. He claims they drugged him and made off with his Rolex at four in the morning. Well, Goldie mistake. says what happened to him makes him think the city has work to do to get back to how much safer it felt a few years ago before the pandemic. It's a different city that we're living in, and a lot of cities are facing the same issues. So I know New York is not alone, um, but I know New Yorkers are strong. And whenever they say that it's happening everywhere, that's such a deflection. Um, salute the yeah. um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's cowardice, man. Um, everyone hit the like button, man. Smash that like button as well, man. Let's get 400 likes in this bitch. Whether you want rumble. Whether you on Rumble, still over on Rumble watching, or you over here on um YouTube watching, man, hit that fucking like button, man. It's like, um, it's like he's been bred to be subjugated. Yeah, it, it's weird that these are the men that once ruled the high seas and from every corner of the earth, like literally brought like their civilization in their ways. I, I think everyone. it's urban. I think it's urban living that does that. Yeah, you, if you will, if you will look at the people from from the country, 
they look rough and they 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 look that they won't take any shit from, well, from the I, migrants from anyone uh, really you said something the other day that made some sense to me and that was that you know this white man if he were like drafted in the army under the state of war and trained and like you know like gliders in certain situations maybe are more apt to operate in that kind of aggressive aggressive mode but like here in his hometown where he's walking to the yeah, but he, restaurant but it has to be encouraged i mean not that yeah. he's not like you know this guy is very effeminate and stuff obviously but just generally speaking i think there's some truth to that yeah mm. i mean well they grow up in areas where they're not fighting all the time like if you're not fighting all the time and you've never been in a fight and you're 25 you're, you're not you know what I mean? Like you're not. That's just not in your head. Very true. Yeah. Or he, or he, was, or, or he was told as a kid that violence is not the answer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just not. It's just not in your head. Like I knew, I knew guys that, you know, when I was in high school, like that was their mentality. They liked to fight, and they would be okay with something like that. But the vast majority of white kids there were like, they don't do that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And 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 people can feel that. Like predators can feel that. They can sense that. And more crimes at homes in Union County, New Jersey. This time, cameras catching the evildoers, invading a house and even stealing a car. And there are reports of other houses ripped off last night in the area as well. Last month, you'll remember, we focused on the city of Summit. Well, tonight, the home invasion problem appearing in Union Township. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live at the scene with the very latest. AJ? Hey, Bill, it feels like these attackers, or rather these thieves, have no fear of actually being caught. They have no fear of going to jail, and they have no fear of going into people's homes, even when they're in the house sleeping at night. These <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Shout out to the sudden man for, like, literally laying it all out. Hey, Bill, it feels like these attackers, or rather these thieves, have no fear of actually being caught. They have no fear of going to jail, and they have no fear of going into people's homes, even when they're in the house sleeping at night. These crimes taking place here in the township of Union around 1230 last night. A crew was just going around from house to house looking for cars to steal. They're bold, brazen, and not afraid to enter a home while residents are sleeping. The thieves were captured on ring video, casing a house to find a key fob. The homeowner says they tried to go through a side window, but eventually broke in through a back door. He did not want to show his face. You know, I have kids. You know, the situation could have played out a lot differently. You know, I just, I'm, I'm glad my family's okay, but it's just unsettling. One of the suspects had his face covered and was looking through the front door window. It feels like a violation, you know, the place where you rest your head to have people desperate enough to come in and to steal, just to steal a car. Police say there were several similar incidents reported overnight in Union and neighboring towns. In one case, the ring camera picks up a conversation between the suspects. Good. I promise I'll be good. This is a persistent be good, problem bro. in New Jersey where auto thefts continue to be a main concern <laughs> Who could that be? for citizens and cops. <laughs> Who could that be, bro? Who? BMWs, Mercedes, Range Rovers at times, um, all the high-end cars. The thieves seen in the video did get away with a stolen Jeep. The owner moved here to leave crime behind, but it has followed him from Brooklyn to Union. You know, my family's okay. That's the main thing. Um, you know, just 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 be a lot, a lot more alert. I'll definitely be a lot more alert from now on. For what? Yeah, and it's obvious that that gentleman was. Yeah, how you gonna be alert when you're sleeping in the crib at night and somebody comes and breaks into your house? You want what? You want to sleep with one eye open? I mean, what the fuck is he talking about? He was wrong when he said that they were desperate, desperate enough to do that. They're not desperate. It's, it's fun for them. They yeah, enjoy this. it's not. Yeah, that, that, that's another like thing that annoys me. Like they trying to act like these dudes are hungry and shit, and they need and they need a meal. And if they, we gotta do this so we can go buy some bread or some shit, like no, this is Man, a fucking hobby. I swear to God, I saw a newscast where they were talking about kids need freaking break free breakfast at schools because they're hungry. They had a motherfucking kid that looked like Fat Albert. 
<laughs> he was like, I'm hungry. I don't get, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did I put this motherfucker in a red shirt that's the Cosby kid? What the fuck? <laughs> these, these democratic these democratic uh, areas they they demand they, they they rely on this kind of terrorism to happen. You gotta say encourage the, these kind of people to keep voting for them. Mm, they need the this kind of crime to happen to keep the keep the community the place to keep the place of being ran by Democrats. I think I, you know what I don't know about that. I don't know if they want this type of crime. I I I, I don't think I don't think they want this. They, they must want it because they keep because they now, always discourage they, they always discourage people from 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 doing something actively. I they think always they're discourage... fools. I think they're fools. They're morons, and they fundamentally their wokeness blinds them and clouds their judgment. And and now, and part well, of being woke, hold on, part of yeah. being woke is this. Like this is being woke. I'm saying the I'm saying the ones who the ones who the the brains behind all this they right. want this kind of stuff to happen because they can take it because it's easy to take advantage of people yeah. who are willing to who are willing to give in. Yep. They definitely want you on. They definitely want people on programs like welfare and shit. Like there's no doubt because that's how they pay for. That's how they that's how they buy votes. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they want these people on these fucking programs because they buy yeah, votes. But... Now the now the regular woke people, the idiots out on the street. Yeah, they're they're just motherfucking. But eighty percent of the population is stupid when it comes to politics. Right. So right. maybe at ninety percent, like what you're looking at with politics is like a nine nine one percent. Where ninety percent of the people don't know what the fuck's going on. Ten percent do, and nine percent of them can't do shit about it. And one percent is basically has the power to do something. That's what you're pretty much looking at because they're not paying I, attention. I, listen, I, I I think that I I don't think these people want crime. I think they're Part of being woke is being is co-signing these types of things. Like, okay, when this movement BLM comes along, I'm a woke liberal. So yeah, of course I'm down well, with it. What what else me, comes with this? Defunding me, the police. No, no, let me wait a minute. Let me put it this way. Do you think Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer really give a shit about these people? Do you think that they're really woke and care about this whole systemic racism shit? They don't give a fuck. When when they need when they need no, those are for nine minutes, you yeah, talking about they, politicians. I'm just talking about regular people. Right, I'm but those are the people in control. That's what I'm saying. Like those are the people on TV, like guys like Al Sharpton and shit. Like Nancy they, when Pelosi they, will do whatever brings her power. Right. But that's what I mean. That's why they want these people away. The only reason black, the only reason we go through this Black History Month, Black Lives Matter, all the shit about black people, whenever you open up the internet browser, you have like half of the articles about some black person or some shit and blackness is because they need to keep black people voting for the Democrats and they co-sign that shit. And that keeps them yeah. voting that way. If they don't make it about blackness for, for 20, 30 years, you're going to lose the narrative in these well, black communities. It, Right. They Racism. push the woke. Go ahead, go ahead. They push the wokeness. They push that agenda. Racism is inextricably linked to Republicans. So the fact that Republicans haven't found a way to un loosen themselves from that ball and chain called racism, because whenever there's something racist happening anywhere. It could be in a Democrat city. It could be under a Democratic president. It could be whatever. Right. And, it's going and, to fall in the lap of Republicans. Does it, right, be, they because, made that happen. Right, because nine-tenths of the media reports it that way. Not everyone's watching all the media and paying attention. They're turning on the, the news for an hour, maybe even less. And they're turning on to networks like CNN, MSNBC, NBC, ABC, NPR. Like, listen to all the networks they have. They've got all of the news networks except Fox and talk radio and some guys no, on YouTube. 